Guys, welcome back to Beyond the Beat Music Studio. My name is Dave McKenzie, and in today's tutorial, we're gonna take a look at Luna. We're gonna make a song in Luna together, a very simple song, all right? It's like an 80s style synth tune, just a basic pad track with uh, like a drum beat, little bass line, and a little melody. So I hope you guys dig it. We're gonna get right into it. Please hit subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment. It really helps us a lot as we try to grow the channel for you, all right? So do it. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I've opened up these four tracks here. We've got a drum track, a keys track, a bass track, and a synth lead. These are all instrument tracks. Here's where you can open them up, okay? If you go up to new track, okay, that's one way of doing it. You can also, um, you know, do it by going shift on your keyboard, your typing keyboard, command and N, and that'll open up the same widget over here. And then over here, when you like, and this is the same for a lot of different DAWs. I work in Luna, but I'd encourage you to follow through on this video because you're going to be re really, you know, you're going to be able to sort of understand that these concepts translate to other DAWs, digital audio workstation. That's what a DAW is. All right. So here is how I've done it. I, I, I selected four and then I hit OK. And those are the tracks that opened up, right? I'll just open up one now to show you. So I just hit okay. And now here's another musical instrument track. And then I'll just call this track. Um, I don't know. Percussion. Right. So uh, maybe we'll add some percussion after. All right. Now this track here is my talk back track. I'll just label it. And uh, we've got them all set up. So, uh, so the drum track, maybe I'll make it, you know, a uh, nice sort of hot pink and uh, we'll engage record and we'll just come up with a cool drum beat. So I'm going to go in to shape here and we need to um, click on these little lines and that brings us into uh, the parts where you choose what, whatever. It, it always defaults to the Ravel keyboard, right? So uh, sorry about that annoying sort of slam on the piano sound. Go up to drums. Uh, choose anything, whatever, right? Like we can always get a different kit after. So I'm just going to sort of open up this really simple kind of cheese board here. Maybe I'll change it already, right? Like that sounds bad. It's sort of a lo-fi, like. You know, it's just something simple, right? Like I'm keying that in on my keyboard. Um, maybe I'll just uh, see. That's loud, eh? Holy mackerel. Let's bring it down to like, I don't know why the default setting is like ear piercingly, you know, eardrum piercingly loud, but it is. So I'm just going to, uh, so notice I've engaged the track. We've got a metronome set to 80 beats per minute. I'm going to hit Apple on my keyboard and space bar and it'll just start the recording. And I'm just going to try... I'm just going to try to key in a, a beat. Two, three, four. <laughs> this is just an utter fail. Just Apple Z for undo. We'll just try it again. Whatever. And, you know, it was so poorly played, but you can sort of click on this cue. And I've, I've, see, I've selected, you have to select the grid that you want to sort of quantize to. So I've selected 16th notes. And if you hit quantize, then it just moves the notes here that you misplayed um, to the nearest note. You know, 16ths are generally good. Let's just see what the beat sounds like. Yeah, like there, like simple beat right like i don't even need 16 to open up i can go up to this grid and we can look at it and this like everything is just on eighth notes like one and two and three and four and so we've just got the kick on the one snare on the two kick on the three snare on the four and the hi-hats are all on the end and we can we can actually when you're working with midi we can increase the tempo and it'll work right like it'll now it does an audio now, like Luna is much better than, uh, uh, to me, other DAWs. Like it, you can actually play with the time on your, your real audio quite nicely and it doesn't, doesn't really c compromise the recording. It's, it's actually pretty, pretty deep. So there's a cool beat. 
Uh, I'll take the metronome out now. Cool. So here we have a cool beat, a uh, very simple beat, but you don't need much, right? You can just, so now what I'm going to do, <laughs> we still have the drums and a record enabled. So I'm going to undo that. Um, we'll go up here and we'll just shrink this track down a little bit. And, uh, and now I've got, a, you know, just this keyboard part that I want to do. So actually what I'll do is, uh, I'll click on shape now that this little track is highlighted. Let's make this a different color. Maybe it'll go blue. And uh, and I'll click on shape. And now shape opens up. And if we click on these little lines again here, right, then uh, this brings us into this little section here. And you can see all of these uh, just listed, you know, parts that we can do. So we we did drums there. But now we're going to do a keys part. So let's let's pick a pad, right? Um, so for some reason it's not working. I don't know why. There we go. It's working now. Ah, uh, there was, yeah. Um, so let's, let's just sort of we'll go up an octave here. sort of toggling through looking for a sound right um let me go up and off it kind of hurts my head um it's kind of a weird thing like let's find a nice let me go down an octave here So all I'm doing is I'm playing C, E, and G on my piano keyboard. Very simple little chord, a little major chord. And I'm gonna just, I'm gonna teach you guys how I got those chords, okay? Um, harmony is really simple. It's, it's, uh, it's sometimes a little bit confusing to teach. And if I lose you, I'm sorry, but it, it, I'm not trying to lose you here. Uh, but here's how a scale works, okay? Right, there's a D. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. That's just a C major scale. Okay, so from each of those notes, that's just the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. Okay, so I'm just going to sort of shrink this down and then you can see it. Um, and notice that it's just the white keys going up to this last C. All right. And then these two white keys are close to each other, and so are these. And and the the distance here, because we've got the the black key in between, this is a distance of uh, a tone. It's C, C sharp to D. So that's two sort of note distance. And then it's a D, D sharp to uh, E. And then E and F are close to each other. So it's tone, tone, semitone. And then here you'll see there's a space in between. So it's a tone, tone right? And then tone, and then it ends on a semitone. So all major scales follow this pattern. Now, to build a chord, you can just build, you can take the third note. So here's the first, and here you skip the second note, and you can take the third and the fifth, and that makes a C chord. So I'm going to just move this right over here, right? And I'm going to take this one. So there's a C chord. And uh, that's pretty cool, right? Right, so then, so I hit the C chord twice in that little song one. Um, so let's listen to that. Well, that would be kind of cool to leave in. So then that's the first measure, right? And then we could duplicate that and um, by just hitting Command D, Command, hold Command down and then hit D, that duplicates it. So we've got a C. C, and then if we built the chord off of the A, it creates a not, it creates a minor chord. So let's bring these down to A. Right? 
Now that's a major chord because you'll notice that this middle note happens to be on the black key, which is not in the key. So we're going to move this down to the C and then that'll make your A minor chord. So check it out. Uh, I might do something a little different. I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm going to bring these down to E. I don't know if that's E. Is that E? C, D, E. we got to go one more. And then let's duplicate that bar again, right? So that's the one chord, right, off of the first note of the scale, C, and then if we, um, and then A happens to be the sixth, like if we were to climb C, D, E, F, G, A is the sixth. Uh, and then and then E happens to be like the uh, C, D, E, really off the third note of the scale. So, and those are minor chords. Um, the first chord, the, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord are all major. So we're just going, you know, C, And then uh, I'm going to duplicate everything and then maybe switch it around a little bit. And then, um, uh, I'm going to change this, change this up to, um, and then this will be major. So this has to come off the black key. So we'll bring, make, And now we've sort of got a song, right? Like we can sort of listen to it. Um, you know, that's a chord progression, right? So. Um, that works. That's eight measures. We just sort of cycle down like C, C, A minor, A minor, E minor, E minor, and then another E minor, E minor, and then a C, C, A minor, A minor, and then uh, what is this here? Uh, I think it's uh, C, D, E, F, G. So yeah, we have a G chord twice, right? And that just cycles. So that's good enough. You know, now we've got a nice little framework. We've got a chord progression and a beat, okay? Uh, and now for the bass, you know, let's go in here and uh, we'll pick a cool color, something that's inspiring. Maybe this nice little green here. And we'll, uh, we'll go up here, we'll go into shape. Notice again, click on the little lines. Uh, it defaults to the Ravel, but we're going to look for a cool bass sound. So that's cool. It's just such a cool, that's like, if I hold a note down, that happens. And that's just, I think that just sounds like uh, eighth note. So let's just try to, we're just going to follow the root notes of the chord. So remember, C is the root note of the C chord. A is the root note of the A minor chord. Uh, and E is the root note of the E minor chord. So we're going to go C, hold it down for the whole measure. Um, A, hold it down for the whole measure. And um, e, hold it down for the whole measure. E, hold it down for the whole measure. We just keep it down. And then we're going to go back to C, measure, um, A, measure, and G. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, I'll, I'll do a little count in, and I'll just hold things down. And there it 
is. It's so simple, right? I just literally held the root notes of all of those chords. Uh, I can go in here, hit the little Q. Uh, this comes up, quantize. It's nestled all of those notes in. Um, on the last G note, uh, because this is the bass is usually monophonic, meaning you can only play one note at a time, I kept the G held down, and then I played a G one octave up, and it sort of arpeggiated it, it, it alternated, which is sort of a, it gave it a nice octave feel. So now we've got this as our tune. Here it is. Uh. And, you know, if we wanted to, like, ramp it up a bit and sort of make it a little bit more bumping, we could go up to, like, 110, right? Like, oh, 110. I sort of feel like maybe 100. Okay, now that's fine, a nice lead. So you can sort of see quickly how songs can just sort of magically come together. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of a miracle how, uh, but it isn't that much, it's not, there's not much magic to it sometimes, you know, like it's just simple triad chords. This is basic harmony. If this is a problem for you, please leave a comment. So uh, let's go and find a cool lead. <laughs> So any of those white keys, because we're in the key of C, any of the white keys that we have are, are options for us, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you know one measure in, and I'm sort of gonna base my, my deals off of the root note, so. And then E minor. Okay, so let's just try that. I'm just going to try to do a simple little riff on my keyboard. Um, It's good enough, you know, like you can, it, it's just, it doesn't have to be hard. I just literally sort of like riffed really simplistically. Could, that could repeat, you know, and uh, uh, oh, I've got a percussion track. Let's do something fun here, okay? So we'll just uh, we'll give it another color, maybe make it similar to the drums, and uh, you know, we'll just go here, and then um, or the same for that matter, and we'll go in here. We'll open up our record. Um, we will go into shape. We'll go into the little line section. We'll go into drums. Maybe we'll find something in the '80s kits. Let's just try the kick here, okay? I'm, I'm gonna try to keep keep it simple. Okay, 
Okay, so let's uh, let's hit this up. Hit the queue. Hit the quantize. Everything's been lined up. Um, now we've got a little bit more energy. Uh, I'm going to drag this track by clicking on it here, and I'm going to drag it all the way up and put it um, right at the very top, uh, right underneath the other drums. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring, I'm just going to solo the two drums. Solo my talkback mic so that you can hear me talking. And we're just going to listen to the two kicks to make sure that they're not conflicting. So now we've got this kick that's just, you know, four on the floor. It's driving hard. Um, and it just, it makes it a little bit more dancey. And it makes it, just gives it a little bit more of an electronic dance vibe, okay? So it's just kind of fun. So let's just listen to our track now. This is it. Look, it just, it's a simple four chord progression. Um, it, it doesn't need to be, you know, I'm kind of repeating myself now, but, um, you know, obviously it's not like the greatest, you know, gift to humanity or anything, right? Like it's, it's like, it is what it is, but it's not bad. And it's a start and I'm, I'm sort of feeling like, oh, I could play some guitar, or, you know, where could it go from there? And that's, that's, that's a good place to be. So you can write a great song with this. You can write great words and layer some vocals and, you know, you don't need, you know, you don't need a lot. You need simplicity and, uh, you know, you just sort of gravitate towards sounds that you like and don't overthink it and don't overcomplicate it uh, at all. And just really feel free to, to try things out. And if basic theory evades you, once again, let me know and don't be shy. You know, theory has been something that, uh, it's always been a little intimidating to me. I'm, I'm not naturally sort of a, the type of person that excelled in mathematics or in science in school, and I was a little intimidated by it and a, a little fearful of it. And uh, I wish I hadn't been, because it's, you know, when you do get into it and you give yourself the chance, you, get, you, have, you tend to have a knack for things that you don't think you're good at. So um, dig it, everybody. Make your own music. Stay cool, express yourself, sing about something that's real, sing about something that's meaningful to you. Put lyrics in, make these songs personable and, uh, and just, you know, get into it and, uh, and leave, leave a comment uh, and definitely subscribe to our channel if you can. All right. Stay cool. Talk to you soon, everybody.